Hey, Extra Space Storage subscribers, I'm Lauren. And I'm Lincoln, and we together are the Austin Flipsters. We run our YouTube channel where we transform real estate before and after. So if you haven't seen our videos, make sure you go subscribe. Right now we are standing in a kitchen that didn't used to exist. We bought this property, it was dilapidated, it had been abandoned for a decade, transformed into this beautiful space. So if you wanna go see that transformation story, it's over on our channel. But today, we are talking storage, and specifically, under the stairs. Yes, because in our projects, we work in Austin where real estate is at a premium, so we always wanna make sure that we are utilizing every extra ounce of space we can, and what better space to utilize than the under the stair storage. We're gonna walk you through how we transform the under the stair space in this property, and we're gonna give you our top five favorite ways that you can maximize that space underneath your stairs. So when we bought this property, there was nothing here under the stairs except an old lawnmower. <laughs> Yeah, so we are working with a blank slate. So as we mentioned, this house was abandoned when we found it. There really wasn't much here. They had added on to this 1939 house sometime in the 1990s when they added a second story, and that's when these stairs were originally put in. Fortunately, they weren't to code anymore, and we had to completely <laughs> rip those out. So after reframing, we had this sort of awkward under the stairs space. And because space is at such a premium in this home, it really made sense to not let this go to waste and use it as a high value area in the house. And because of the proximity of our stairs to the kitchen, we thought it made the most sense to use this as a walk-in pantry. So what we've done is we've added some shelves in the interior here, so you've got tons of storage, even some low shelves for that extra bulk items. And then we put this cute little barn door with a chalkboard on the front, that way you can close it off. I don't know, you can put your grocery list, cute saying, what have you on here. Because this is sort of a narrow walkway, we didn't want a door swinging out, and because of the framing, we couldn't really do a pocket door, so barn door for the win. Barn door it is. So we are going to cutesy this pantry up. We're about to list this house for sale. We wanna make sure we give the buyers the idea that this is a pantry, so stay tuned. You guys ready for the epic transformation? Time for the big reveal in three, two, one. Ta-da! How cute is this? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to stage it to give it a little bit of a uh, charm. This is an aspirational pantry, if I do say so myself. I mean, I know I store my cereal in these cute little mason jars. Of course. Totally kid-friendly. <laughs> but for real, like this uh, staging really does help when we're selling properties to kind of like set the tone, give people ideas on how they could live here. Um, and so I think this is super cute. We could have easily just made this a storage closet, but one of the issues we had in this house is because of the layout, we didn't really have a proper place for a pantry. And so so as we were kind of playing and reconfiguring the space, we thought, hey, how about under the stairs? That's the perfect amount of space. Um, and that way we can really utilize it well. It's a simple installation to put in these shelves and they don't have to look amazing. But one of the ways that we dressed up the space is by putting in this sliding barn door with a fun little chalkboard on it. That way you can write your grocery list or you know a little message to your sweetheart or your kids in the morning. It makes the space purposeful and it gives like a really fun design element as well. Okay, so let's see the inside of this bad boy. So one of the great things about running it under the staircase, obviously the storage gets lower as you go, but I think that's great for a pantry. You can do all your like bulk water, different storage items over there. Um, or if you didn't have as much food, you could actually store this as kind of a storage closet down this way and then your pantry right here. You got options, people. Okay, so if you've got stairs next to your kitchen, obviously it can make sense to use it as a pantry. Right. But let's talk about some of our other favorite ways that you can use this space. So one of my favorite ways is as a mudroom, especially if you've got a sliding door like this, you could put hooks on the wall, hang backpacks. You could have like a little shelf for shoes built in and then a little slide of the door. You don't want to look at that stuff anymore. Out of sight, Boom. out of mind. That'd be especially good if your stairs are located near your front entry. I think that would make a ton of sense. One of my favorite ways if you're a wine drinker, mm -hmm. is to actually turn this into like a little wine cellar or oh, storage. Oh, you're bougie like that. I'm bougie like that. I think it's a really fun use of the space. And yeah, maybe not the best for small children. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Um, I've seen, you can even do it with like a glass door in front of it so that you're showing it off, but you can keep it temperature controlled. Oh, that'd be cool. 
One idea I really love is if you have a pet, so this would be a great space. You could have a kennel, you could have your water bowl, your food, all your pet supplies, a little bed for them. That way it's kind of like a nice cozy space for when you're gone. Super cute. Another idea for this space would be to create a cozy little reading nook. I know my 10 year old would love this space. Perfect place to cuddle up with a little book, get some reading in. I've seen it on Pinterest where they cutesy it up by putting some shiplap behind it, adding some custom bedding and some custom pillows in any kind of pattern that you want. And it creates just a nice friendly little space. Our number five way that you can use the space under your stairs is for a mini little library. So cute. Built-in shelving, and you just got a nice little reading nook. This will be nice if it's off of a living space where you can grab you a little book and then you've got a sitting area you can cozy up. Yeah, throw some bean bags on the floor, some comfortable pillows. I think that'd be a nice little spot. So I think a lot of it is really using the space in relation to other spaces in the home. Exactly, so one thing to consider for your own house is where are your stairs located? Is it near the front door? Does it make sense to be a mudroom? Or is it something that could be an extra living space? And also, what is your lifestyle? Do you have pets? Do you have kids? Do you entertain a lot? One thing we didn't even mention is you could just use it for storage. <laughs> so you could store Christmas decor, could be a coat closet, any number of things. Really, it's a function of looking at your life and what you need. If 100% of your life is not just show ready. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a great place to store, to hide away all your junk. Guys, if you wanna see more transformation stories and full before and afters of the house, like we mentioned, go subscribe to our channel, Austin Flipsters. And huge thank you to Extra Space Storage. We really enjoyed working on this project with them. And we actually have done another video for them on flex spaces. Go check it out.